Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Lucy. Good evening, Irving. Good evening, Christina. Hi. Hi. Okay. Good evening, Carlos. Good evening, Hector. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Well, fine, very fine. Great. Be happy because tomorrow and the next <laughs> week. Uh, <laughs> Communication is very effective now. <laughs> no, but but we in my, in my work, uh, make have a work. week for it's true. Day. You had work previous Saturday. I lost that, 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 this, that day. <laughs> and you're like, hmm, so I don't go on Monday, I go until Tuesday. <laughs> you need an anyway. extra. Uh -huh, that could be a possibility because you're very work. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay, I know. Well, good evening, everybody. Say something on the chat. Let's see, what news? What's news on the chat? But say good evening first, say hello. Say, how are you? <laughs> Say, how you feel? Vamos a ver, saludemos en el chat. In English, of course. Don't say, buenas noches. <laughs> In English, say, good evening. Say, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. Aha, uh -huh. hello, everybody. Nice. Good evening, everyone. Aha. Uh -huh. More, continue. <laughs> I'm happy to see you. I hope you're fine. I hope you have dinner. Okay, congratulations for two free days. <laughs> you're so creative, Mr. Ferman. Very creative. Uh huh. Happy Independence Day, by the way. <laughs> okay. Very good. Two days free. Hmm. All right, good evening, everyone. It's nice to see you again. Ah, very nice. <laughs> very courteous. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, good? Courteous? Mm -hmm. Cortez. What? Cortez. Ah, really? Uh, yeah, of courtesy. A courtesy. Yeah, courteous. Uh-huh, nice. What else? Everybody, say something on the chat. Say hello, say good evening. All right, good evening, good evening. Say how you feel, how was your day? If you had a good day, if you had a busy day, if you had an interesting day, a relaxing day, a different activity. All right, good to see you too, Lucy. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? What else? Oh, somebody's going to the beach. Hmm. <laughs> for four days, for a long weekend. All right. I have a busy day, but very productive and happy for this. All right. I had a busy but productive day. All right, and I am very happy because of that. All right, good. Mm -hmm. What else? Well, we had a different day today. We had the commemoration of the Independence Day. So the students um, dance El Sombrero Azul. <laughs> and there was another student who played uh, El Torito Pinto on the violin. That was really good. 
So they are very talented. They are very creative. Oh yes, tomorrow going to oh the bands, the marching bands. All right. Yes, good evening. Just a question. And because the holiday of 16, um, does we have a free day? Uh, we don't Friday. know yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we know about tomorrow. <laughs> That's for okay. sure. Yes, enjoy your independence day. Be independent. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but on the 16th, we don't know yet. We have to be paying attention to the chat, to the announce, to the official announcements from Insofor. Because Insofor has the last word. They are the ones that made the decision. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Nice. Sí, dice que hay que esperar a ver qué dice en Sofá. Tomorrow, yes, it's official. It's a day off. <laughs> it's a holiday. <laughs> it's a celebration. Okay, for being Salvadorian. And being proud of blue and white. Okay. Oh, the same song, Patria Querida. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> All right. It's my sister's birthday, says Christina says. Tomorrow. Yes, or, tomorrow. <laughs> oh, nice. One of my best friend's birthday is tomorrow, too. My friend's Nati. Yes, her birthday. A lot of people celebrate. Good evening, everybody. Hey, good evening. A lot of people celebrate their birthday on September, in September, actually. Mm -hmm. Why? Guess. <laughs> why? Guess. Huh? Guess why? Because, um, ah, no, no, esto es en octubre, sería después del Día del Amor y la Amistad. Mm, I guess September <laughs> is month number nine. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas. Happy Christmas. Yeah. Yes. Probably, you know, Christmas is a good time. All right. Yeah, people love Christmas, actually. All right. So I see most of uh, participants are already joined to the session. So let's have the attendance at once without any further ado. Let's see. Oh my goodness, I need to look for my name first. Okay, here I am. Here I should be actually. Goodness, righteous. Mm -hmm. Wait, I don't seem to find my name. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, let me let me try once again. It should be somewhere around here. Attendance, attendance, attendance. All right, here we go. Okay, attendance list. One second. Okay, here I am. I just need to look for the correct date, which is the 14th, right? The 14th of September. Wednesday, yes. Adriana. Oh, she's not here. Oh my God. Adriana, Carlos. Hi, I saw Carlos, I think, somewhere. Oh no, he's gone. <laughs> okay, Cristina. Present. Hi, welcome. Daniel, Elsie. Present teacher. Hi, Ferman. Present teacher. Thank you, Hazel. Hmm? Hazel, Hazel, Hazel? No. 
¿Qué significa? Héctor. Lo presente, teacher. Thank you. Iliana. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Irma. Present, teacher. Hello, good evening. Irvin. Good evening. Present. Hi, good evening. Isabel. Lucy. Present. Hi, good evening. Marta. Mayra. Present. Good evening. Samuel. Present, teacher. Good evening. Wendy. Jacqueline. Not here. Oh, wow. Okay. Yesterday. What was the topic? On the last part of the class yesterday, do you remember? Uh huh. Nah. <laughs> I was not in class. <laughs> okay, it's true. You were not in class. All right. But the ones that were in class should know. What was it? Uh huh. What was the last topic that we studied? Like the last, last exercises. Actually, we barely introduced the topic. Uh huh. Right on the chat, whatever you think it was. Let's see. Write your ideas on the chat. Uh huh. Whatever you remember. The last part of class yesterday. Let's see. Or maybe because of the manual, because of the platform, you have an idea. Mm -hmm. Let's refresh the memory. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, Carlos is connecting just right now again. Hi. Uh, what happened? Tuve problemas. There was y... a blackout. Yes, tuve que instalar otra vez Zoom. Es que no estoy con mi máquina ni en mi casa. Ah, the vacation has started already. <laughs> no, no. Ah, no. Anda, Carlito. No va a llegar hasta el lunes. All oh, right. Hey, hey. Let's get I the visit party my mother. started. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right. Ya pasó lista. Oh, <laughs> long ago. <laughs> no, it's bueno. okay. Sí, ya lo había visto. Ah. Actually, solo usted estaba cuando yo me conecté. Sí, por lo mismo, porque me quería asegurar de que no tenía problemas y a la hora de empezar todo me falló aquí. <laughs> okay, we talk about third person in singular. Exactly, that was one. Oh, Daniel. There you go, Daniel. También. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Daniel. Hi, teacher. It's still in San Miguel. No. In no. San Salvador. Salvador. Yes. Wow. Record <laughs> driving today. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. Which are the frequency adverse? Exactly, Myra. Exactly. Frequency adverse, the words that show frequency. That was the last part of the class. We talk about always, usually, frequently, sometimes, seldom, hardly ever, never, right? So those are the adverse of frequency, yes. The different kinds of verb, regular and irregular? Mm, yes, for the third person singular, yes, we review that. True, true, true. The use of verbs in present simple for third person. Exactly. To describe the activities or the responsibilities that different employees have in their companies, right? So we describe also a normal day at work, okay? We describe a typical day at work as well. Some people didn't do it. Hay algunos que falta que pasen. Hmm. I hope 
today we have the opportunity to listen to those people who didn't do it yesterday okay all right uh-huh we have to be ready 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 let's see i see wendy already who else who else was not when i say your names or the attendance mm -hmm. alguien que no haya dicho present no everybody okay Hi, I'm here, teacher. yes thank you <laughs> how was the ride <laughs> How Vamos was llegando. Ride? How was the ride on your motorbike? <laughs> yes. How was it? Good. Relaxing. Relax. <laughs> She's dangerous. <laughs> she rides a motorbike. Okay. Well, yesterday we were describing describing the typical day. Bye. En el chat escriban su nombre si aún no nos han descrito su typical day o un normal day at work. No es que me van a decir like exactly, literally everything, pero the most significant activities, ¿ok? Write on the chat si usted aún no la ha descrito su typical day. Say your name, solo escriba su nombre. Like, normal, Carlos, Héctor, exactly. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. So we have Hector. Be honest. Yo ya sé quiénes son de todas formas. Ajá, pero man. Ya no tiene, ya no tiene fichados, teacher. I'm very good with names and faces, believe me. Probably I don't recognize so easily aquellos que no encienden cámara todas las veces. But the ones that turn on the camera, maybe I see you in, in Metro Centro and I say, ah, oh, that's my student. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm terrible, I know. All right, so we still have, yes. Okay, Hector, Samuel, Fernan, Beatriz, Daniel. Yes, Daniel was not here yesterday. Well, he was probably, but he was just listening. Wendy, Cristina, Carlos. All right, good. So, right now we're not going to start with the presentation para darle como tiempo que se hagan a la idea. But probably, like in half of the class, a la mitad de la class, we're going to do that. All right? And we already have the names here. Okay. Let's start. Let's get this started. Okay, as I mentioned, this is our class number eight, video conference number eight, and today is September 14th, a day before Independence Day commemoration. So these are some of the generalities of the class. And of course, the objective for this class is to describe a schedule activities at the workplace. Okay, usually at work, we have a schedule. A schedule is agenda, like work agenda. They say, okay, at eight, I have a meeting with this and this person. At nine, I have to visit this and this customer. At 10, I have to create a report and send it to my immediate boss. At 11, I have this other meeting with this and this person, okay? So that is a schedule, the time and the activity, okay? And, of course, the, the manual presents a schedule for people who work at a restaurant, okay? So people who work at a restaurant have different schedule for different activities, not only for um, attending the customers, but also for cleaning, for organizing things, for receiving things, for packaging things and stuff like that, right? So they have different, different schedule for different activities. All right, before we get started, okay, this was the adverse of frequency. We studied this yesterday a little. We just practically got an overview of the topic adverse of frequency. Son aquellas palabras que denotan frecuencia. Con qué frecuencia o qué tan frecuentemente hacemos las actividades. So we say 100%. Mm -hmm. The adverse of frequency for 100% times is... Always. Always. 
There are many songs. Hay muchas canciones donde sale esta palabra, así que no tienen excuses. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, 90%. Usually. Usually. Esta EU es como una combinación de una I y una U, ¿verdad? En español. Entonces dice usually. Okay, 80%. Frequently. Yeah, frequently. 70%. Often. Often or often. Cualquiera de las dos pronunciaciones es aceptada. Don't worry if you say often or often. Often. Right. 50%. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Sometimes. Also, sometimes es otra palabra que aparece muchísimo en canciones. Like, aquellos de la época de Britney. Sometimes I run. <laughs> Sometimes I did it again. <laughs> All right. Okay, 30%. Rarely. Okay, 30% would be occasionally and 10% rarely. And 0% is never. Never is another word that also appears in a lot of songs. Yes? Like the ones at the top, at the bottom, and in the middle, right? Always. Never. Sometimes. Okay? ¿Dónde usualmente se ubican esos adverbios de frecuencia? Si se fijan, voy a dejar a ver quién me dice. ¿Quién ya lo spotió? Who spotted it? Ajá. ¿Dónde debe ir el adverb of frequency? Exactly. Between the subject and the verb. Yes. So, I always wake up at six o'clock. I usually go home after work. Usually. <laughs> I frequently swim after school. I often drink milk in the morning. I sometimes go jogging on Friday. I occasionally walk to school. I rarely get sick. Thank God. I never skip breakfast. Usualmente, usually va ahí, entre el subject y el verb. Hay algunas excepciones, como sometimes. Este adverb of frequency, que es como el de la medianía de la tabla, puede ir al inicio, antes de todo. Aquí yo perfectamente podría decir, sometimes I go jogging on Fridays. O al final de todo. I... Go jogging on Friday sometimes. O normalmente como todos los demás. Between the subject and the verb. Yes? Clear? Don't forget that if you find a sentence with sometimes at the beginning, you won't say, oh, oh no, what a mistake, this is wrong. No, it's okay. Yes? All right. Yes, tell me. Yeah, no, understand. Uh... They use the sometimes. Sometimes. Uh -huh. Sometimes is it a very good frequency? Yes. Sorry. Or, que no le entendí el, 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 el uso porque se me cortó un ratito entonces lo que significa o que si puede no, ir ¿cómo en lo en usa? Eh, porque usted dijo que lo podía mover sí, puede ser antes del sujeto completamente al inicio uh -huh. de todo Podría decir, sometimes I go jogging on Friday. Ah. Sometimes I go shopping for groceries at the supermarket. O completamente al final. I go jogging on Friday sometimes. Ok. Pero lo It's más not... common, the most common is here. Between the oh. subject and the verb. Only sometimes? Oh. Yes. Oh. Ok. Only sometimes. That's the most okay. rebellious one. Ok. okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right. Huh. Teacher, yes. Teacher, but in, in the case of sometimes, 
is most for the urban the urban uh, language. Yes, I don't it's want, more I want, informal. I, I don't want to be racist, but the, the Nico use a lot of the, the word. this the word, but at the end of the of mm -hmm. the sentence. Yeah, most likely, and it depends. It depends of the region as well. It depends of the of the community. Sometimes they they communicate like that. Yes, true. Okay, on the chat, escriban una oración usando, veamos, usually, algo que ustedes usualmente hacen, cualquier cosa. Aquí nadie se puede copiar porque todos hacen diferentes cosas. Example could be, I usually get up late on Saturdays. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> But you can say anything else using usually. Mm -hmm. Let's see. All right. Great. I usually wash my car. Okay. So you don't have to go and pay in a car wash. Okay, I usually drink coffee in the morning. Nice. Mm -hmm. I usually listen to music in the morning. I usually listen to music at work. Mm -hmm. I usually eat tamales in the morning. I usually eat tacos on Friday. I usually drink coffee at 10 a.m. Oh my God. <laughs> That's great. Uh huh. Any other activity that is very frequent that you can say, I usually do this. Uh huh. I usually have my breakfast while I'm driving to work. Usually, most of the time. Uh -huh. Done? Ya todos escribieron su oración con usually? Bye. Es como un hábito, una costumbre que generalmente sucede, excepto aquellas ocasiones extraordinarias en las que usted no lo hace. Ok, I usually bring my daughter to school. I usually... Ok, aquí ya Mr. Carlos ya se nos pasó a always. <ríe> I always drink water every day. <ríe> usted quiere que sigamos con always. Vaya, pues a petición de... Mr. Carlos Hernández, vamos a hacer con always. That's sorry, that's okay. <ríe> ya había escrito la de usually, ¿verdad? Si no, no te ve la de usually. Ok. Bye. Algo que siempre hagan. All the time. Always. I always check my email. Uh -huh. I always I always have breakfast, definitely, mm -hmm. without exceptions. Uh -huh. Always. Now use always in a sentence. Something that you do all the time. I always, okay, I always take a bath every day <laughs> in the morning. That's great. Mm -hmm. I always go for my son after school. Yes, that's great. All days, always find a job. I always have a lot of work, probably. <laughs> yes, that can be another one. I always have my breakfast. That's great. I always talk to my colleagues in the office. Sometimes my boss gets angry and says, I am in a meeting. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I always drive early. I always go to work at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. I always eat late. I always check my email. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, good.
Va. Los que ya escribieron su sentence con always, ahora piensen en algo. Think about something que rara vez hagan. Y van a utilizar el adverse. I always go to the gym at 6 a.m. Oh, wow. Algo que rara vez hagan. Y van a utilizar el adverb of frequency rarely. I rarely. I rarely drink chocolate. It's rare. I rarely drink chocolate. I rarely sleep early. I rarely do exercise. <laughs> I'm a lazy person to do exercise. I used to be more disciplined, but I'm not anymore. Okay. I rarely drink coffee. I rarely drink milk. I rarely call my friends. Mm -hmm. I rarely visit my friends. Okay, I rarely wake up at 7 a.m. I rarely go to the Salvador market. <laughs> All right. I rarely have money. Me too. <laughs> I rarely wash my motorcycle. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. I rarely take my dog for a walk. Poor of her, she's always here in the house. I rarely play basketball. All right, great. I rarely visit my uncle. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Good, good, good. Good job. Okay, perfect. I think I have an exercise for you about the adverse of frequency. So if these sentences, you have to read, read the sentence carefully y pensar en cuál de los adverse of frequency debería de ir en cada uno de los espacios. Tienen que entender la oración, obviamente, para poder decidir cuál adverse of frequency agregar. Okay, so this is something we're going to do in groups. This is something that you're going to discuss. This is something that I need everybody's opinion. Hmm, in a small group. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Uh, you share the, the presentation, please. One moment. Sure, no problem. One second. Here we go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, perfect. So I shared the screen also, don't worry. Okay. So let's go. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Hello. Hello, Wendy. Hello. Vamos a contestarlo el ejercicio, ¿verdad? Que puso la teacher. Sí, eso es lo que logré comprender que íbamos a rellenar este. ¿Cómo vas eso? 
Perdón. Vamos a completar el ejercicio. No sé si alguien de ustedes puede compartir la página de este ejercicio. Yo creo que está en WhatsApp, ¿verdad? No sé si lo observa. Drag and draw. Adverse of frequency in the blank. Mr. Philly always get to class on time. He is always late. No, he is all, no, he is, es como que nunca, ¿verdad? Llega tarde. He is never late for lesson. Never. Mm -hmm. I clean my bedroom about 14 weeks. Eh, sería yo norm, ¿cómo es? estaba normalmente usualmente, casualmente de ahí no me acuerdo las otras never me dijo en cuál, perdón No le escucho. Sería, no sé si en la en la dos es always. I always clean my burn about for cinco por ciento. My family rarely go to the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Rarely. Mm -hmm. Una vez por semana. El número cuatro. My brother is never sad. He's. O sea que él nunca está triste. Uh -huh. He's. He always. Ah, he's always. Sería. Always happy. He's always happy, El opuesto. Right? Número cuatro sería la verdad. Is always for. Always, ajá. Uh -huh. oh, siempre. El cinco. I go to school by bus. I only do is on. Mmm, dice. Una vez lo hace. Una vez a la semana. Ajá. Ay, only. Entonces sería tal vez Rarely o no sé cuál es la otra que está cerca de Rarely. La que le sigue. ¿Ah? Para los nativos que están aquí de acá. Rarely. Go rarely. Rarely. Ok. Restaurant. We go there once a month. Hi, teacher. Hola, Wendy. No sé, mi cuerpo no la había visto. Hello, hello. Eh, teacher. Yes. En la 3, yo sí tengo duda. Porque uh -huh. dice que mi familia, you go to restaurant. Pero también dice, we go there once a month. Entonces, uh -huh. inusual no. tendría que ser. O sea, como que va una vez al mes, así uh -huh. entiendo. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Entonces, ese es el complemento de la oración. Yes. Rarely es, no, me queda como demasiado largo. Porque uh -huh. se nos está diciendo una. ¿Cómo sería una, como una vez a los seis meses, tal vez? Pero... 
Entonces sí, sí pudiera ser rarely. Mm, algo que sea un poquito más frecuente que rarely. Occasionally. Occasionally. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. My family occasionally go restaurant. We uh -huh. go there once. Once a month. month. Ok. Uh -huh. okay. Sí, right. tenía la duda. Nada okay. más. No problem. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Wendy. Ayúdenos, Wendy. Hello. <laughs> My, uh, the four. The, the four. Ah, Sería... la cuerda, sí. Mami, esta es para usted. No sé qué dicen la, las otras compañeras. Yo creo que solo usted y yo nos quedamos. Ok. Bedroom about four times week. My family usually go to restaurant. We go here once a month. My brother is where my brother. Okay, pero pero ya la encontré. Va vale, entonces. He always has, él siempre tenía esas cosas, ¿no? pero yo. <risa> pero vi, dice. I saw, I saw him in hamburger. Pero o sea, como que él vio este, que comía su hamburguesa eh, con frecuencia o algo así. Mmm. Entonces siempre tenía eso, pero si comía su hamburguesa. Era como algo raro. Uh -huh. O sea. He always has noodles. But I saw him eating hamburger with. Él siempre come, no sé. Así que no, 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 no voy a estar conectado en el 5G. Porque lo he puesto always. No, pero si es no del. Vamos a preguntarle a. Entonces. Ah, está llorando mañana. Otra vez, ¿Ah? otra vez. Oye, otra vez, Nancy, que una gran cuenta de videos. Ah, Él siempre tuvo videos. Solo yo me siempre. Yo lo vi eh, comiendo hamburguesa. Uh -huh. Ahí está pegado. Será siempre algo. Always o es sometime, no sé, no. Porque decía que el sometime es el único que podía usarse en un lugar diferente al, 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 al ¿cómo se llama? Después del, del pronombre. Ay, si quieren ah. practiquémoslas. Ajá. No, el video, qué lindo. Vaya, si quieren practiquémoslas ya con lo que, con lo cómo nos quedaron. Nos quedaron si quiere empiece. O empiezo yo. Mr. Philip always get to... 
to say, I rarely go to a school by bus. I only do yes. once. Okay. Las seis. Las six sería my field team lets only one English school. I go great. Eh, yo entiendo ahí que ella aplazó el examen. <laughs> Ajá. Entonces sería en ese caso sería often. A menú, ella a menú. Mm. No, ¿verdad? No. Somete. Sometimes. 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 Ah, uh, sí, something to mm. Tengo dudas, espera. Ahorita veo una cosa. Yo entiendo que ella no va a pasar de grado, no estoy seguro. Porque ahí el get, teacher, get, ¿cómo se ocupa ahí? No, 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 no me queda claro el, la función del get. Lo voy a poner. Si quiere, dejemos ese y hacemos la siete. Ah, ella debe sacar buena nota. Quiero ver. Entonces, en ese caso sería. Ella a menudo. She often. Often. She often, often. get good grace. Ajá. She often. Podría sería ser. often. Often, ajá. Often. Often. Often, ajá. Often, ajá. Often. Porque sería, ella a menudo saca buenas notas. De ahí la, la, la siete. siete sería. Eh, he, uh, he always has noodle. Noodle. Noodle, noodle. Noodle. Que él sí va a comer hamburguesas. Eh, ¿Verdad? Sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. He eating hamburger. Eh, hay que, ¿Cuál nos falta? Nos falta. Dos. Eh, no sé, always es el otro. Ah, no, ya lo ocupamos. Rarely, no. Frequently, eso no hace falta. Frequently. Frequent. He always has mm -hmm. noodle. Como él nunca. Eh... Entonces sería en las siete. Yo diría que frequently. No sé qué decir vos, Irvi. Yo diría que frequently. Bueno, pongámosle ahí. Y en la siete, que sería la que falta, never, ¿verdad? Perdón, en la ocho. Ah, Joanna never rides his bike to work. Maybe three times a week. No. Yo entiendo que ella va en bicicleta. Al trabajo. Maybe es... Pero, Mejor no va a ser que yo. Porque ajá, me, tal vez tres veces a la semana. Entonces sería como de vez en cuando. Uh -huh. 
finish chef good finish everybody finished yes 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 all right cool how easy it was <laughs> a little bit easy so so or very easy no so easy a bit complicated all right let's check okay here we have the text all right here we go okay the first one mr phillips always get to the class on time yes number one never 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 late for lesson all right number two i clean my bedroom about four times a week okay. i sometimes clean my oven four times cuatro de siete <laughs> Son siete días a la semana. <laughs> Four out of seven. Four Maybe times often. a week. Ajá, un poquito más de sometimes, ¿verdad? It could be often. Often. Ajá. Very often. Clean my bedroom. About four times a week. My family go to a restaurant. We go there once a month. Okay, Rarely, professionally, rarely, once. Okay, once, once, a, a once a month or occasionally. ¿Quién da más? Rarely, rarely. Once a month. Uh -huh. No suena tan frecuente. Sounds more sure. like rarely. Okay. Todos pusieron rarely o alguien puso algo diferente. Eh, yo occasionally. Occasionally. Uh -huh. Okay. Occasionally once a month. Sí, con lo que con lo que está la economía de cara, ¿verdad? Going to sí. a restaurant once a month would be occasionally. En ocasiones, right? So, I write occasionally. Is that right? Occasionally. 3, 3, 3%. 30%. Y rarely 3%. 3 or 10%? 3. 3 only. 1 okay. and 15. Yeah, from 1 to 5. Digamos que si tenemos la posibilidad de ir once a month, it would be occasionally. But if you write rarely, not bad, okay? I would say it occasionally. Pleca. <laughs> rarely. Pero que ellos que dicen que eso sí es muy rara vez, right? It's all right. So my brother is never sad. His. Number four. Always. 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 It's always happy. Okay. I go to school by bus. I only do it once. Once is una vez. Once. Uh-huh. Seldom. Rather me. Rattly or seldom. Mm -hmm. También podría ser almost never. Hardly ever. Entonces también es, andan por ahí. Casi nunca. Muy rara vez. Ok. So you can say rattly. 
Yes, I rather only go to school by bus. I only do it once. Mary failed the test only once, only once in high school. Mm -hmm. She often gets good grades. Often, or algo más que often. Usually. 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 Solo una vez falló. And the rest, it was good. <laughs> okay, so she usually get good grades. Hmm. He always has noodles, but I saw him eating hamburger. Sometimes. Sometimes. Could be. Rattly. Rattly. Could be. But the only thing is that sometimes is the one that you can use at the beginning, in the middle, and at the end. So it would be like, yeah, he always has turtle, but I saw him eating hamburger sometimes, or once, probably. Solo vi comer una hamburguesa una vez. En este caso, podría ser once también. Cuando usamos así como el once, twice, three times, okay? All right. Joanna, rice. Something. All right. Joanna, rice. His bike to work. Maybe three times a week. Sometimes, could be, sometimes. Yeah, not necessarily you have to use all of them, right? Or that you have to use each of them in all of the sentences, right? So that's fine. No problem. Can I? Can I erase? It was just for practice, remember, <laughs> that we started this yesterday, okay? So don't worry too much. Goodbye. Okay. Attendance, second time. Ready. Adriana, not here. Carlos. Present. Christina. Present. Daniel. Present. Elsie. Present. Berman. Present teacher. Hazel. Hector. Present teacher. Liliana. Present teacher. Irma. Present teacher. Erwin. Isabel. Present teacher. Hi. Lucy. Present. Marta. Venga Marta por algún lado. Me pareció verla. Marta, Marta, Marta. No. Present, present. Okay. <laughs> so I got a I got a wrong impression that Marta was here. So she's not here. I'm sorry. Okay, Mayra. Present. Samuel. Present. Wendy. I'm here. Jacqueline. Jacqueline is not here. That's sad. Oh oh. Yeah. One more exercise about the adverbs of frequency so that we can just make sure how to use them. Let's get started. Okay. It's night. <laughs> uh huh. Quickly, el tiempo corre. Never. <laughs> Never. Correct. Uh -huh. Always. 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 Correct. Mm -hmm. Usually. 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 Correct. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> This is easy, right? <laughs> because you just have four. Usually. Usually. Mm -hmm. Always. 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 All right. Usually. 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 All right. That was easy. Woo. <laughs> Correct. 
It's funny. <laughs> that was fun. I know. <laughs> that was easy to start with. That was very, very easy. All right. Let's keep going. Let's continue. Okay. All this unit, the main objective is to describe the, the schedule and the activities that employees do at their work, at their workplace, right? So we have studied from this lesson. We talk about what is a regular day. Hmm. Por ahí tengo los names de los que no han descrito su regular day at the workplace. <laughs> so, it says, what is a regular day at your workplace like? How busy you are. I know we're all very, very busy. And we get to our work and we want to extend and we want to expand the day for more time. For some activities sometimes that it gets really, really busy. So, that's mainly what we are reviewing. Okay, so we also use the simple present for schedule activities. We studied this lesson. We also studied the lessons for the adverbs of frequency. So how important are they? In this lesson, we also studied the strategies for a restaurant, right? So that they could get more customers. And of course, the adverse of frequency, the explanation is here. Para los que todavía no los ubican. And of course, we start this lesson uh -huh, about the estimated time that employees work in a day in your workplace. So if you have a, to follow a specific schedule. Algunas personas, pues parte de verdad su professionalism ustedes crean su propia agenda dependiendo de las necesidades o de las cosas que urgen de las que son priorities en sus trabajos pues así las las desarrollan y otros que tienen que tienen su horario que seguir okay so that is like the schedule at work all right vean Recuérdenme que después de que las personas nos cuenten de sus schedules at work o de su normal day at work, vamos a hablar un poco de los ejercicios que han estado haciendo en la plataforma y si hay alguno que les haya dado alguna dificultad. Yes. All right. Veamos. The first person to describe... <laughs> the first person to describe how busy you are at work would be, yes, Hector, the lucky one. Uh, my schedule day. Exactly, day. the activities that you normally do at work. Uh, I have to wait mm -hmm. for my work. Mm -hmm. Maybe in office mm -hmm. and maybe in field, like in campus. Mm -hmm. And the field. Uh, if, if I talk about my office day, usually. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I usually. Uh, no, always arrive to my work at six, six and a half. Six thirty. Uh, mm -hmm. and uh, take my my third pass, mm -hmm. third pass and uh, check my email mm -hmm. and make maybe make a report or maybe make a, a document mm -hmm. and take my my food at 12 mm -hmm. o'clock have lunch have lunch at 12 o'clock and uh, check my my site <laughs> in this in this time <laughs> ah, when you are having I, lunch it's okay. good. <laughs> all right when you are having lunch you I can, can check can. your social media it's possible <laughs> My, my... You eat super quickly to check Facebook. I, I like eat. Ah, because you're checking the cell phone. 
in the headphone now. Uh, the, my 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 boss uh, angry if I use my 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 computer, computer to check mm -hmm. Facebook. And the uh, in the middle no. Uh, in the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon, continue with my my document, and the end of my day is uh, go for my daughter to the school. Wow! If what I, I go, what I time? Talk. What time do you pick up your daughter at school? Six thirty. Wow, uh, that's yeah. late. Yes, the the study in the. In the afternoon. In the afternoon shift. In the afternoon shift. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! But six thirty to finish a school is very late. No, no, I wait because in in in, in the park in the parkeo. Parking lot. What? In the parking, parking lot. In the, uh huh. It's very um, crowded. Um, it's traffic into the school. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> How it's crazy, crazy that is. But suffer he, the traffic in the city and suffer the traffic in, in the school. It's true for a bit. Uh, I wait, I wait uh, for a stop my, my car. I wait my because goodness. it's very expensive, the, the gasoline. <laughs> yes, it's terrible. Gasoline is so expensive these days. This okay. Is my ordinary day, teacher. And then repeat the next day, the next day. The every next day. day, every hour, <laughs> for every month. Okay. Reactions for Hector. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Yay. I'm happy. Thank you, teacher. All right. Thank you. Sam, your turn. My turn. What always do? Yes, normal day for sure. Normal day. Well, I'm always a uh, wake up at 5.30 p.m. I'm always need to drink a cup of coffee before I go out of my house. I'm always uh, leave my little girl to her college or to her school. Um, then uh, I check my mails in the morning. I'm always eat a snack in the middle of the morning because I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, I need uh, energy. Yeah, yeah, and take my third cup of coffee. Um, always, uh, always uh, take a lunch. Mm -hmm. Um. Always have reunions. I'm meeting with our, with my partners, with my coworkers. Um, I always fight with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> it's very common. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's me. It's me. All right. Um, I'm always staying forty-five, one hour in traffic when I come home. Um, I'm always trying. I always play with my. I will talk with my daughters about their day, mm -hmm. about our day. Mm -hmm. uh, always take a dinner with the family. And since three, two weeks, I'm always stay here at 8 p.m. <laughs> nice, good reactions. Awesome, well done. Fair man. Only the talkative men have participated now. <laughs> okay. okay, so God created you and you get together. Hi, everyone. Uh, my day in, in always, I always uh, wake up 5 a.m. Um, uh, eh, I will do do uh -huh. do uh, the breakfast for my for my, for, for my uh, children children one um, or two two children yeah so I make breakfast for my children 
uh, en, en uh, me alisto sería get ready <laughs> market ready uh, for uh, get it in uh, school mm -hmm. and get up, up and and uh, get it get at in the school uh six th thirty thirty <laughs> yeah <laughs> poor children <laughs> uh the traffic <laughs> how old are your children yeah. <laughs> how old are they who are they mm -hmm. um who are they Four. how old are your children ten seven four ah uh, my daughter uh, if she's uh nine old years nine years old uh -huh. Uh -huh. my boy is uh, he's uh, uh 13 13 years old so he's older than your daughter yeah mm, all right so he takes care of the little girl yeah they go to the same school yeah okay good um uh late after i leave them at uh, school I leave, mm -hmm. um uh, wake up um, um my work uh uh, get it uh eight am mm -hmm. and uh get uh, a llegar sería teacher when i arrive when i arrive in uh, my office mm -hmm. um i make coffee it's necessary <laughs> i do coffee uh i read on my emails mm -hmm. and i call uh my my customers mm -hmm. uh, i wake up my my day uh, but, sorry sorry i i schedule my day my day my day um mm -hmm. uh, my lunch is uh 1 p.m mm -hmm. uh, 1 at 2 p.m and uh, uh, the depending on of the place on donde esté, se dice? where i am where i am mm -hmm. so uh i return to office mm -hmm. or at my house mm. so you have the possibility to go home not necessarily to go to your office and then go home yes mm. i i don't i don't mark mark se dice marcar mm. don't, Oh, they don't check the time. Okay, I don't, uh huh, I don't check the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can be also mark, like marking the time. Okay. Yeah. All right, perfect. Reactions, claps, Beatrice. Who's Beatrice? Ah, Irma. <laughs> I call you Irma. I'm sorry. Okay, I prefer Beatrice. Yes. Nice. Um, uh, my activity uh, every day uh, open the store, remove alarm, open the box in the system, check the box. Inventories, mm -hmm. uh, save the warehouse, mm -hmm. deliver the product, take coffee, prepare a courier service for Aeroflash, make service order, add them to customer, uh, make cash receipts, prepare los the logistics for mm -hmm. deliveries mm -hmm. to customer. Uh, close the store as uh, 6 p.m. and system shut down. Oh my god, you have a store. Yes. Ah, where is it? Is where? What is the address? What? 
Where is the store? What is the location? Um, really? Yes. Oh, and you do deliveries? Yes. Um, nice. Awesome. Okay. Reactions. Let's celebrate. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Daniel. Daniel, Daniel. ¿Qué se nos hizo Daniel? Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> okay. Dice que se nos había retirado. I'm sorry. No. Go ahead. A normal I... day in Daniel's work. I arrived uh, my work at 8 a.m. I turn on the computer. I check my emails. Mm -hmm. I have draw in the computing in civil uh, design. Uh, the car box um the oh will the the same mm -hmm. oh check the box cover check the the bridge um maybe check uh uh, equipment, the equip, equipment. personal, mm -hmm. equipment, personal, mm -hmm. um, check the all uh, very well, mm -hmm. um, after I go the field mm -hmm. check the the project in field mm -hmm. um after return um launch mm -hmm. uh, after a check uh, email mm -hmm. the new <laughs> um, after a uh, return on the field I check the personal mm -hmm. uh, we have a uh, equipment mm -hmm. personal Mm -hmm. um, return the office. Um, e I I go out sometime five p.m. Sometime usually is is six p.m. Uh, seven uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> record <laughs> on my house. Nice, good job. Reactions. That's good. Very good. All right. Okay. Well, who's next? Wendy. Okay, Christy, instead of Wendy. Okay. Um, a normal work day start at 5 a.m. I get ready. I take my son to school. And I get to the office early. Um, Sometimes I leave San Salvador to delivery account 
play role uh, to build. Mm -hmm. um, I drive a uh, San Miguel, Santa Ana, San Vicente, Zacatecoluca, Jiquilisco. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ajá. Um, si no salgo, ¿cómo se dice? If I no. stay in the office. Ajá. Uh, in the office, uh, sometimes um, always check the email. Mm -hmm. uh, answer, answer, answer to customer. Okay. Um, always check the mirroring. Uh, always check uh, what ATM. Um, uh, how cash? <laughs> how do you say that? <laughs> que tengan efectivo. <laughs> uh, to check that they have cash. Uh -huh. Ajá. Eh, los, que los cajeros automáticos tengan efectivo. So you que check que... that the ATMs have cash. Have cash. Okay. Uh -huh. um, y at the end of the day, I have to send reports and statistics for my job. All right. And you finish? Um, a five or six? Never a five. <laughs> <laughs> By 30, six, seven. Seven, six, seven. Uh -huh. My goodness. Okay. Well. Good job. All right, so I think that's it. No sé si nos falta Carlos, I guess. Yes, Carlos Ernesto. <laughs> mm, yesterday. I was not in class. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, I, I remember uh, yesterday, I... Say I tell tell them. Uh -huh. O sea, me recuerdo que, que ayer pasé. Ayer pasó. Sí. Ah, yo como vi su nombre acá, pensé que no lo había hecho. Ah. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, it's okay. Thank you, remember. thank you so much. It's okay, don't worry. All right, okay. la platform. Ya lograron avanzar en la platform. Me see one question. Yeah. Yes. Solo las tareas de, esta, de este módulo me hacen falta. Ajá. De la Empezaban mayoría. con la tarea 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. ¿Por ahí van? Yes, teacher. ¿Hay algo de alguna de esas tareas que les, que, que les haya dado dificultad o que necesiten ayuda? Yes, Ahorita yes, entrando yes, todas las yes. plataformas. Sí. Tell me, Mayra. No, eh, la, la tarea 3, que es la que me falta una pregunta, no me sale. No le da. Yo lo mandé en el, en el grupo para ver si alguien. La tarea 3. Podía ayudarme y nadie pudo ayudarme. Ok, veamos. La tarea 3. ¿Es de la sección anterior o de la sección 2? Eh, la sección 1. Sección 1. Quiero ver. Ahí. Yeah. Es que Germán nos ayudó, pero él, él no, no sale la, la, la cons, lo que está para armar. Uh -huh. No me coincidía con lo que él colocó. No, no, es la, no es la tres, es la que hicimos, teacher. La, es que la cuatro. Pidiendo. Exacto, la cuatro. Pero como ella la dio, no me sale. Aquí está, cuatro. Sí, la tarea cuatro, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. De hecho, déjeme ahorita, ahorita llegamos ahí. No, le va, no la va a armar con las que salen ahí en opciones, Mayra. Esa, por eso es que la escribí ahí, porque la hicimos con la teacher. Sí, desafortunadamente mm. le comentaba a Germán que... Germán. Teacher. Germán. <risa> Pero Ferma, la coloqué como estaba aquí, o no sé si lo hice mal. La, como la tú la mandaste, sería. Y no la, y no la aceptó tampoco. Pues no me lo aceptó, no sé si me equivoqué en algún detalle. Ajá, puede ser. Pero Fermán lo hizo, te salió sí. así como lo escribiste. Sí, sí, Fermán. sí, de hecho, sí, de hecho, sí, de, de hecho Carlos, 
confirmó que sí le había a él funcionado también. Uh -huh. Por... Sí, lo que a pasa es que me funcionó. Perdón, Mayra. Vale. Dele copiar y pegar. Porque yo así lo hice de las que mandó Fermán y me salió correcta. Puede ah, ser bueno. esa opción. Sí, lo que pasa es que no coincidía. Creo que por una palabra se la habían puesto diferente en el setting de la, de la plataforma. Ok, voy a copiar y pegar entonces para que me salga. No worry. Ok, veamos. ¿Estamos todos bien hasta ahí? ¿La sección? ¿Section 1? ¿O nos vamos okay. a la section 2? 6. Yo por la 3 a 7, no sé cuál es. Okay. All right. Section 2. Task. Seven. Recuerden que después de esta unidad tienen el midterm, o sea, ya ten, tendrían que estar con... Tomorrow, tomorrow. <ríe> sí. Digamos que tomorrow is holiday, o sea, después del Friday. Friday is no. holiday. <ríe> I think. No está nada confirmado. <ríe> yes, Decreto yes. nacional. nacional. Yes, yes. Order the president. <ríe> Ahora sí, todos, our president. <laughs> our president, we love you. Uh -huh. Our Lord. Yes. Our Lord. Your no, no, Majesty. No, no. no, tampoco. Sin comentario, mejor. <laughs> Estudiamos inglés mejor, dicen. Ok, no, no andan confirmado nada de esa forma. Ustedes estén pendientes de su grupo. Ok. So pero sí, suggestion es que terminen las tareas de la session 2 y que hagan el midterm, ¿ok? Para que si el monday ya estén tranquilos, el último día, que sería en teoría, ¿verdad? In theory, el último día de la semana 2 y podamos ya haber terminado todas las asignaciones e iniciar ya la semana 3 on Tuesday. Yo les sugiero que mejore el weekend porque tienen más tiempo, ¿verdad? ¿Ya? Hasta el momento, ninguna dificultad con las tareas de la session 2. ¿No? No, le hemos hecho dos No la he revisado. <risa> <risa> Cuánta honestidad. Thank you, se aprecia. <risa> Honestly. No, está bien, no se preocupe. Pero si surge algo, pues lo comparten en el grupo para buscar las, las soluciones. Ok. okay. Bye. Perfecto. All right. Ok, let's keep going. Sigamos. Let's go, 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 go. Déjame que aquí de repente me da dificultad de compartir la pantalla. Okay, two questions. Well, a couple of questions. Can you name three task employees of a restaurant? Does anyone have a specific schedule to follow in a company? Bye. Traten de analizar cuáles podrían ser three tasks, three activities, three responsibilities that employees from a restaurant hat. ¿Cuáles podrían ser esas tres actividades, esas tres cosas que les toca hacer a los empleados de un restaurant? Uh -huh. Waitress. Cleaning the table. Clean the tables. Clean the space. Clean okay. the kitchen. Okay. Wash the dishes. How do you say barrer? Sweep the floor. Sweep. Sweep the floor. Sweep the floor. Mop the floor. Yes. Uh -huh. Ajá. ¿Qué otras actividades podrían ser? Dependiendo, obviamente, de las funciones. ¿verdad? Me imagino que no son las mismas funciones para un chef que para un waiter, que para el cashier, o que para que nada más estás tomando las órdenes. Okay. So it could be like different responsibilities, but employees in general from a restaurant do a lot of different tasks. Exactly. Open, open the, the restaurant, open the business, right? Mm -hmm. You should wash it. Yes, definitely. 
Set wash the dishes, okay, cook the food, prepare the desserts, yes, receive the products because they serve customers, definitely, mm -hmm. take orders, get the, the bills, right, or the tickets, mm -hmm. okay. Receive of the order in pass of the chef. Exactly, receive the order, pass it to the chef or the, the cook. Chef or cook, it's the same. Cook, it's similar as the action to cook. All right, good. In your case, do you have a schedule, a specific schedule to follow your company? Or you do different agendas depending on the necessities or the priorities of the, of the company at the moment? Or you have a specific schedule? like a list of activities of what to do yes or no no not necessarily what comes <laughs> what comes first <laughs> heating <laughs> okay <laughs> all right yes making decision is real important in your companies i believe <laughs> all right great let me just go back. Yes, we got some vocabulary. Yeah. Uh -huh. Collective schedule, basic and common task, a schedule activities, a specific schedule, a staff, a schedules. A todos les, se les hace de alguna forma fácil pronunciar la palabra schedule. ¿O hay alguien que todavía se le dificulte? Es que yo. Es que yo. Es que, es que fíjate que es que Es que yo. Es que yo. Exacto. So es que yo. 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 Es que de los bathrooms, con la parte de atrás están los schedules de los que les toca limpiar los bathrooms, por ejemplo. Right? So that is a normal schedule for people to clean the restrooms. All right. Then we have timetables. Employees. Particular timetable. Group of individuals times. Time, sorry, timetables. Uh, and Essential, definite piece of work assigned, and program task. But, ustedes tienen que match, o sea, match es como, ¿qué de esta columna tiene el mismo significado a la siguiente columna? For example, si yo digo, collective schedules, ¿con cuál de esos podría ir junta? Timetables, employees. Particular timetable, group of individual timetables, an essential definite piece of work assigned, or program task. Collective, okay. collective schedules. Okay, let's Maybe program task. Program okay. task. Or table table timetables. Timetables. Time All right. <laughs> it's a group of individual timetables. So it's like. Okay. Everybody, but for, I mean, for all of them, right? So that is, would be the collective schedule. All right. Basic and common task. Program and task. Program and task. Maybe, that I don't know. Be. An essential definite piece of work assigned, basic uh -huh. Essential, definite piece of work assigned. Okay. Sounds like a schedule activities. Mm -hmm. I think that the, the arrows don't match actually, if you ask me. <laughs> they are kind of lost actually. <laughs> a specific schedule would be. Time, time, time. Time tables, definitely. It sounds to me like. Uh oh. 
schedule particular timetable could be probably specific schedules. Let's see what they say. Now this goes to employees, so probably this goes to, to yes, should go lower. A staff would be employees, definitely. So this goes to the timetables that would be specific schedules and the schedules that would be the timetables, right? Teacher. All right, yes. Um, what stuff is table time tables? Like schedules. That would be schedules. Ah, okay. Another word. Uh -huh. Staff, employees. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We have this conversation about the usual task that employees at a restaurant have to do so take a look check the conversation and then try to say the conversation this time we're not going to do it in pairs we're going to do individual we're going to try to read all okay both parts okay give me one second please Ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Okay, so let's start with Maida. Read all the conversation. All conversation. Yes, all the conversation. No problem. If you if you get some words that you don't really know exactly, it's not a problem. Okay, just go ahead. Hey Matthew, how is it going? Very good, Ben. I relieve that everybody everyone is is here today because of the traffic. You know, you right. Look who was the early and late shift for this coming weekend according to the schedule schedule a schedule <laughs> mark and sophia and sophia have the morning and afternoon chief and tom and kate have the evening shift thank you good job ervin <clears throat> The all conversation. All the conversation, yeah. yes. Go ahead. Okay, that's good. Hey, Matthew, how's it going? Very <clears> good, <throat> Ben. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know? You're right, Luke. Luke, who, the, who has the early and late chief for this coming weekend? According to the school, Mark, in Sophie have the morning and afternoon chief. In Tom and Kay have the evening chief. Good. Questions. Is there any question? According to what you already listened, according to what you already read and studied on the conversation, do you still have any question, any doubt? No? It's good. So Ben and Matthew are talking and, and Ben says, hey, Matthew. School, what is the correct pronunciation? Of which a word? School. A schedule. A, a schedule. A schedule. Hmm. Chief. 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 Normal. Chief. Yes. What is chief? Normal. Ah, okay. The morning shift and the afternoon shift. Yes. yes. So Ben says, hey, Matthew, how's it going? This is a very, very well-known question already. Remember, how's it going substitutes that how are you? How's everything, uh -huh. yes? How's it going? Very good, Ben. I'm relieved that everybody's here today. I'm relieved, it's like, thank God everybody's here, right? 
because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early and the late shift for this coming weekend? On weekends, probably restaurants get lots of people, get really full, and maybe the employees don't want to work on the weekends, right? So that's why they are relieved. It says, uh, who has the early and late shift for this coming weekend? And then he answered, according to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, Tom and Kay have the evening shift. All right, so morning and afternoon. So these people are gonna work many hours. <laughs> Mainly if they if they serve breakfast, morning and afternoon, it's a lot of work. And then Tom and Kay have the evening shift. The evening shift probably is late for dinner and night. Right. So is there any other question regarding this conversation or it's easy? Easy PC. All right, we usually have some extra exercises about the conversation. Let me just um, show you the manual where you might find this conversation. Let's just go ahead. Mm -hmm. We studied this yesterday. Yes, well, the day before yesterday and yesterday we did this one. So this is the conversation. So, okay, read collective schedule, showing basic and common tasks in a restaurant, talk about schedule activities in my workplace, what the estimated time an employee works a day in your workplace, does everybody have a specific schedule to follow? So these are some of the conversations you can talk about and practice the conversation, of course. And then you have an example. Look at the schedule at a restaurant and answer the following questions. Who manages the restaurant? Who cooks? depending of this schedule so you have to look at these activities and the people who are in charge of i mean who the cashier is who's in charge of cooking of managing taking the orders of being the waiter or the waitress right so first thing try to talk about these questions okay then practice the conversation and then answer this to questions according to this information. Is that clear? Yes? Good. Let's have the groups. Let's recreate the groups. Two or three participants in each of the groups is fine. Yes. Hello, Mayra. Hola, Mayra, no me escucha. Hola. No se escucha nada, nada. Hola, Mayra. Y hey, cerquillo lo regué aquí. Pues sí, ya le escuché. Yo soy. Me enteré hoy en la clase. Ah, gran, sí, gran sí. desilusión. Ah. Sí, que aquí en la clase estaba cuando me enteré. De que no va a trabajar, ah, no va a trabajar el viernes. Que voy a trabajar el domingo. Ah. 
Bueno. Sí, no, no había chequeado el horario, pero ni modo. Ni modo, así toca. Vaya, ahí de, díganme si ya, ya pueden ver. Ahorita. Vamos a ver. Uh, Uy. Ahí está. Yes. Sí, ya se puede ver. Vaya, eh, para no... No sé si yo entendí bien o entendí mal, pero de lo de la conversación... Vamos a hacer el, el schedule de abajo. Sí. sí. Sí, vamos a contestarlas. Ok. Vaya. Cris, si algo de compartir. Sí, ya, permítame, solo quiero ahorita. Bye. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, sí. Bye. Ok, pero a ah, las preguntas. Who manages the restaurant? Who cooks? Ok, vaya, ahí estamos. Uh -huh. Ok. Bueno, leámoslo si gustan para tener una. Idea. Idea. Ajá. Okay. Okay. Hey, Matthew, how is it going? Very good, Ben. I really. Como se relieve or really. Relieve. Relieve. That everybody relieve. here today. Perdón. Just quiero ponerlo arriba y no me. <laughs> Ay, no me deja dejarlo arriba. Bueno. Because, because of. The traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early at and late shifts for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift. And Tom. Hey, Matthew. I'm not prepared. Intercambiamos. Sí, sí. Ok. Eh, hey, Matthew. How are you going? Very good, man. I'm relieved that everyone, everybody is here today because of the stuff in the world now. You're right. Look how, how has the early and late chief of the coming weekend. According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and the afternoon shift. And Tom and Kate have the evening, evening shift. Okay. Well, okay. Okay, okay. Dice que contestemos el, esas dos preguntas de acuerdo al schedule porque están ahí dice look at the schedule at the restaurant and answer the following question who manage the restaurant quién es el, eh, el jefe del restaurante ¿Mm? Jennifer Rodríguez verdad Porque dice, who manage the restaurant? Y la única manage que aparece ahí es Jennifer. Y esa es comida latina, ese, ese restaurante. Uh -huh. Ya lo conoce. No, es que yo veo que todos son latinos los que... Los que... Porque dice que, mire, está Pamela Driz, Kai, no, es que... Mateo, Linda, Mil, Mario Milano, Gustavo Guendique, Aili Duque, Oscar Sagrario, casi la María son uh -huh. latinos. <risa> Bye. Um, Kimberly Thompson no está ahí también. Uh -huh. sí, Bye, dice, en la pregunta dos, who cooks? In the morning, chef eh, Kevin Dooley and Karen Dooley. En the afternoon shift, Mateo Luz and Linda Harris.
from 11 at, at 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. In how? Uh, mm. 3, 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. and, and Mateo Linda, uh, they cook uh 4 p.m. at 10 p.m. 10 p.m., correct. Sí, básicamente. Exactly. Exactly. Y the shared one. Okay. Eh, Very good, Elsie. Very good. <laughs> teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, eh, eh, what is the pronunciation? Eh, um, Relieve. Relieve. Relieved. 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 Exacto. Eh, como una D al final de la, después de la, la V. Relieve. Ah, mm -hmm. relieve. Exacto. Ah, very good. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right. Finish. 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 Yes. Okay. <laughs> Easy. Ben, <laughs> uh -huh. I relieve. Relieve. Relieve a take every voice that every voice that that every boy is here here Okay, done. Finished. All right. Great. No questions so far? Easy? Easy peasy. Easy teacher. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we have this uh, collective schedule show, showing the basic and common tasks, right? So we poor, have. Poor Jennifer Rodriguez. <laughs> so she's the this only is manager. Leg of the work. <laughs> All right. So she is the manager. Jennifer Rodriguez is the manager. I know. Okay, we got two cashiers, right? Depending on the schedule, it can be the morning, the afternoon shift, or the evening shift, right? So Kimberly, Thompson, and Pamela, Tris are the cashiers. And we also have Cynthia Lee and Karen Wilkins, I guess, right? So the cook or the chef, we have four. Yeah, I bet depending on the of the chef, they do need more than one chef. If it is a very busy restaurant, they have a lot of customers, so they do need more than one chef. So Kevin Dolly and Matthew Lewis, and then we get Karen Dolly and Linda Harris. Yes, the only manager is Jennifer Rodriguez. Then order taker, so the people who take the orders. For Jorge Milano, Carlos Guardian, Mario Milano again, so probably the brother, and Gustavo Bandique. So the waiters, Walter Omo, Matthew Tools, and Hiles Duke, and Oscar Zarali. All right, you had some questions. Let's see what the questions were. Let me just get the, oh my goodness, yes, this one. Yes, you get these questions, right? Yes, who manages the restaurant and who cooks? We already know because we'd say which the cooks are. So these are the cooks and this is the manager, right? 
So we already yeah. answered. That was easy. But you still have some. <laughs> okay. So more questions. Who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning shift? Who is in charge of managing the restaurant? Who is in charge of the kitchen in the morning shift? Who is in charge of taking orders? Okay, during the morning shift. And what does Matthew do? But this is something you can check, double check, and think about over these two days, okay? So for now, we're gonna stop right here. Let me just get the attendance once again. Part of the protocol. Okay, Carlos. Present. Christina. Present. Daniel. Present. Elsie. Present, teacher. Present, Present teacher. Okay, so. Hazel. Ya se fue Hazel otra vez para no quedarse a los términos, ¿ok? Que quede evidence. <ríe> ok, Héctor. Present teacher. Liana. Present teacher. Irma. Present teacher. Irvin. Present. Isabel. Lucy. Mayra. Present, teacher. Samuel. Okay. I'm still present. Wendy. Thank you. And Jackie. All right. Entonces, los 10 minutes, one on one, le correspondería a Hazel, pero ya no está. Héctor ya participó, ¿verdad? No. No yet. No yet, teacher. Ok, so estaríamos entre Héctor o Ileana. ¿Quién de los dos fue? Teacher, una consulta. Dígame. Eh. Mañana sí ya vi que cayó el mensaje que no vamos a tener clases, pero con eso, con el concreto nuevo, no sabe si vamos a tener el viernes. Eso es lo que tienen que estar teniendo. <ríe> sí, un mande. Bueno, aquí queda grabado, pero <ríe> No, tienen que esperar. De hecho, no tienen aún la... Yo estuve pendiente la autorización de en support. So. Si no dicen nada, si nada, 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 nada llega mañana a su grupo, ninguna confirmación de que se suspende también el Friday, tendríamos que reunirnos on Friday. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jim. I could have Ok, but cross the fingers. ¿no? <laughs> cross el Salvador. Ok, yes, happy Independence Day. Be free. <laughs> Thank you. Ok. Thank you. All right, yeah, so we we'll stay with Hector and see you on Friday in theory, ok? Ok. Ok. okay. okay. Enjoy. Right your rest. Enjoy your holidays. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 No, I have a, I has a little problem with the uh, number three a task, you know, tarea, homework, task three, or activity. But yeah. I, I I can what's that? Solve. Or, solve or yes, solve. answer. Mm -hmm. Solve. Uh huh. But with the help, the my my partner partner help. So you copy uh, like that, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And it was okay. Copy, copy oh, fast. <laughs> like copy my paste. <laughs> copy paste. And like yeah. my 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 uh, report in front. All right, <laughs> nice. It's good. All right, so let's just have a conversation. Okay. Tell me, in general, how do you feel in the class? Feel. How do you feel? I, I feel um very happy. And sometimes um, a little or pretty tired because you know the traffic and you know my 
Uh, yeah. the other, uh, I need to, uh, to drive. Yeah. Wait for my uh, for my daughter yes. in school, and mm -hmm. at the end, uh, I to start to drive to see six and thirty, and I need me drive. How uh, do hasta mi mi pueblo? To to my my town. Mm -hmm. The traffic is very hard, but some. Uh, Which is your town? Santiago Tacuango. Nice. Mm -hmm. O la ruta panorámica. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you live in a beautiful place. You know it. I've been there. It's beautiful. It's it beautiful, is really beautiful. But beautiful. The traffic is very. In, where in the, where does the traffic get the most the most uh, terrible? In in, in qué lugar? Mm -hmm. Um. Vaya el hermano lejano. In the uh, hermano lejano and after, after, ¿cómo sería? Before or after? Before, before. Before, get into el hermano lejano oh, from. 49. Uh -huh, uh, the 49. 49. Yes. From Metro Three. Centro all the way there. Oh, it is crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. I remember, I remember I used to work in Santa Tecla and I was coming and the traffic was okay a long time ago. But the traffic going up, terrible. It's and where, terrible. yes, and your daughter studies in what school? And the uh, how say, um, external. External, I would say. Yeah, but in the in the afternoon time. In the afternoon. And he, and he can get a uh, different pay. Mm -hmm. I would say it's low pay. Yes, because it's in the afternoon time. I know the same. The same. The mm -hmm. same. The same case happens to um, my husband' kid, uh, nephews. They study at Amarista School, but in the afternoon, because the the uh, definitely the tuition is it's is cheaper. <laughs> yeah, in the morning it's so expensive. No, it's very expensive, and it I is. can't pay it. But still, you have to wait, and you have to go in traffic, and then you have to get really tired. Yes, I know. Yeah, but 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 you you can you can uh, wake wake up at the como diría uh, the, uh, como la el deseo de the the interest for learn uh -huh. the, uh, for learn English because uh, you. Uh, Obligate. Force. To speak. <laughs> push to speak. <laughs> to speak. Yeah, push. Push for 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 speak and hear and in the mind. Concentrate, <laughs> analyze, understand. Analyze all all for 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 uh, learn a better English. Nice. And, uh, and, and you study it. English. Thank you. And you study English only here. I am yes, but. Um, you never went uh, to the United States. Yep, yep. I live in couple years in the United States and try to uh, learn English in the school for, for people, all people. <laughs> <laughs> for Latin. 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 For immigrants. No, <laughs> no Russian. Russian no. people and Philippine people. Immigrants, yes, people that come from Immigrant. many different parts of the world. Yes, because I noticed that you have lived probably in the States because your comprehension is a little bit bigger than the others. If you only study in El Salvador and you only attend classes, definitely um, you learn, but your vocabulary is low. You have yep. fewer words. You don't understand, you don't comprehend. But if you have lived in the state, even if it is only a couple of years, you already have like the ability to discriminate, to comprehend, to acquire, to use some expressions. And that's really good. Oh. So a long time ago, you went to the States. In the, in the, in the United States? Uh -huh. What year? Um, oh, uh, maybe uh, four years ago. Four years ago. 
Uh -huh. But that's but recent. In, in, in two two years. Only two years. Only two years. But in, five, I mean, four years years ago, it's it's recent. My father went to the United States when I was a teenager. Really? <laughs> yeah, my really? father went to New York for only one year, wow. and he remembered. Yeah, he remembers some some expressions, but he remembers uh, that he used to speak with Italians. Really? Yeah, he worked with Italians in in New York. Wow. Then my brother, then my brother lived in the states for ten years. My brother lived a long time in New York ten too. Years is mm -hmm. a, a long time. A long time. Yes. You know, but but if if you live in the New and United States, you must learn the language because you need to speak with any. Definitely, you need to communicate. For different purposes, for different purposes, even only for understanding the train or the buses, you need to to order in the first, restaurant. My first interview, I make with a, uh, who say, a gringo. An American. <laughs> That's very, very difficult because- Native it, American, it, yes. The pronunciation is very, very fast. Yes. Like, uh, they speak very fluent, very fluent. True. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And and they don't wait. They don't say I'm gonna speak no. slow for you to understand. No, they go like blah 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 blah. Como le dije, a yo le 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 ask, le pedí el favor. Ask. Uh huh. For speak slow, because I I come to the United States a couple months ago. And the and the, the person, my, my boss, very uh como diría como como bien comprensible. Understanding. Yes, true. That's true. Yeah. They are they are very, very nice, very nice kind. People. Mm -hmm. Nice people. True. Very nice. And the, yes. and he 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 is a how say sin son racista. He's a racist? Um, no. Sí, es, 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 es de raza negra. Oh, he, uh, you don't want to sound racist. Okay, he is Afro-American. That is <laughs> Afro-American, but very nice, very yes, nice people. Yes, true. Beautiful. I also had a very, very good experience too. I went to the States in 2014, but I went for teachers conferences and, and teachers training, yeah, the university. And I, I interacted with a lot of a lot of people from different different parts of the world. And yeah, people from the United States. I mean, not necessarily they have to be white. They can be from different races, Afro-American, mixed with African or Asian or Europeans, whatever. But they're really cool. Pretty really, cool. really cool. It's a beautiful place, United mm -hmm. States. Beautiful, definitely. <laughs> It's a, Beautiful. Uh, uh, como diría, big, big. Big. Place, it's big. huge. In 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 El Salvador, it's very small. All oh, is very very small. little, and we it don't know. <laughs> yes, the houses, the streets, the buildings, <laughs> the schools. The schools over there is like what? Uh -huh. The university. I never visit all the university. I walk, 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 and then I got tired. And now I come back to my dorm. <laughs> <laughs> when I come back to the cafeteria or to the buildings where we have classes, it is really, really big. And very people good. walk a lot. Hey. People walk and walk and, and walk. Walk and work. Exactly. A Both. Lot. A lot. Very hard. Like to crazy. Live. It's crazy. It's yeah, very really, expensive really crazy. to live. It's All like, right, Hector. It's a pleasure. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for staying. It's really nice talking to you. I hope everything gets better with the traffic and the gasoline <laughs> and your kids waiting in the parking of the external. My best friend has the, the her daughters in external too. I think really? they go in the morning or in the afternoon. I, I am not sure because these three years they have been online classes, virtual classes, now they are in person, so it's all crazy. But I think they are in the afternoon. I'm not quite sure. So they also studied that one is in second year of high school, and the other one I think is in fifth grade. Really? 
Yes. One is finishing this year. She's graduating. And then she's going to study the university. She's big already. Yeah, she's big now, Adriana. <laughs> <laughs> but good job. Thank you, okay. teacher. Good job with you, too. Thank you. I very appreciate and and uh, estoy muy contento. I'm very happy. I'm very happy, but too. <laughs> thank you, teacher. Thank All you. All right. Good night. Happy Independence Day, by the way. <laughs> um, I, see, I, 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 I think... Uh, Take a rest. I'll, I'll, I'll Relax, watch movies, oh, clean the, the house, <laughs> watch soccer. Are we? Yeah, yes, it will be. Oh, the World Cup of Qatar is coming in November. No. In November. Ah, really, really. Yes. Really. I like to watch those soccer yeah. matches get really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night. Thank you. All Have right, a good night. Bye. Sure. You too. Bye.